Henry's like fish ladder. This literally right here is the ladder. We fire it up in uh, mid-February and pretty much just wait for the fish to start coming up. Um, they don't always come when you want them to. And this year has kind of been a really good example of that. We expected fish at the end of, Febu or end of February. They started steadily coming in at about mid-March. Um, that's a little early for Yellowstone cutthroat spawning. The reason why the spawning run is earlier here is because this is a hatchery system. And when you keep spawning fish early, you, you can bump the run earlier and earlier because of the artificial system. Um, the reason for that is your earliest fish get a little larger than the later fish, so their chances of survival is a little bit better. Mm -hmm. These guys are Yellowstone cutthroat. They're the native trout to this lake and this region. We also have hybrid fish, which is a female Yellowstone cutthroat and a male rainbow trout that we also stock into this lake and that we produce here. Our goal to stock in this lake typically is 1.2 million Yellowstone cutthroat, 200,000 sterile hybrids, and 100,000 sterile brook trout. I'm ready to <laughs> some fish. <laughs> They'll knock the fish out. This is the fertilization process and that's as simple as it is. Measure 
total tail length to the end of the tail. Some people measure to the fork, but we're gonna do total length. And then we also have brook trout, BK, um, and I don't know, maybe, maybe other things that we'll have you guys identify. But who wants to be data recorder?